So I know you guys are eating up every dunk and Jordan release while Yeezy is on a hiatus, but I think y'all forgot that there's literally over a hundred million, maybe even billion dollars worth of Yeezys just sitting in a warehouse somewhere collecting dust. So as Yeezy fans, we're all waiting to see Adidas next move. Rumors behind the scenes that they've reached some type of an agreement to release these remaining pairs, but we have yet to get any confirmation from Adidas themselves. So I thought it would be fun to go ahead and rank these unreleased Yeezys. There's a lot of pairs in the vault right now. Some that are great, some that I'd pass on, some that are grail. So let's have a little fun. Let's go ahead and get into the ranking of the 2023 unreleased Yeezys. So this tier ranking is very simple. We go from best to worst. So the first category grail is a Yeezy that you've been dying for. This is a sneaker that you must have in your personal collection and you need this pair so bad, you'll go the lengths to pay resale for these. So Cop is a hot pair of Yeezys, a sneaker that you're definitely feeling and that you're trying to go for. Not for me, it's something that you respect and you admire. You would even cop it, but you already own something similar to this or you have a similar colorway. So it's not a must have. And then you have Pass, a pair that you're not really feeling and you're not even gonna go for it at all. So let's go ahead and get straight into it. We got 18 pairs of Yeezys. These are only pairs that we know are confirmed and sitting in a warehouse just waiting to release. So we're gonna kick things off with the 700 V1 Utility Black. This pair is a classic to some. Some people may even call it a grail. This pair originally released back in, I wanna say 2018, 2019. So it's been quite some time and anytime a sneaker is coming back out the vault, it's always exciting for fans. So for me, I'm a fan of an all black silhouette. Although at one point I wasn't, I've definitely come accustomed to it. And I like the gum bottom on here. I never owned this pair back in the day. So for me, the 700 V1 Utility Black, we're gonna go with Cop. So next up, we got the Yeezy Foam Runner Stone Salt. Not to be confused with the Stone Sage colorway. This has a completely different SKU UPC number. So it's a similar colorway to what we've had in the past, but of course, a slightly different variation. So I guess this is a consolation prize if you've missed out on something in the past. Now, normally, I love when Adidas and Yeezy does this, but in this case, this is now like what, the fifth or maybe even sixth tan foam runner that they're releasing. So at this point, we're gonna have to, well, we won't put it as a pass just yet, but I'll just say not for me. So spring season's here. It's time to clear out that old wardrobe and bust out the Yeezy slide. So I wanted to take a moment to let you guys know about a special offer from the sponsor of today's video, Fandy, which was founded in 2015. They're your go-to for affordable, essential menswear. And I have a link for everything down below. So I love this two-piece linen suit that I got right here. It's lightweight. The light colors are perfect for the spring season. Then when you wanna switch it up on your vacation, we got the lightweight polo here, which comes in with a nice fitted form rather than the traditional buttons at the collar area. This joint right here features a zipper, which I feel like is a great detail. Then for your evening affairs, we have this nice lightweight long sleeve button down. And then if you wanna switch it up for a more formal and casual look, you guys can go ahead and just go with the short sleeve version. So Cool Fandy, once again, is providing great quality materials at an affordable price. So I got a special discount code for you guys. Make sure you use it, it's linked down below to save yourself a discount on anything that you guys cop from Cool Fandy. Now these joints right here go crazy. I actually have an early look I'm talking about the Yeezy Slide Azor. Now, I did actually pick these up in a size that was just a little bit too big. So, unfortunately, I do not have these yet in my personal collection. When I first saw the images that were leaked of these, I was thinking these weren't really for me, but after trying them, 
I feel like these joints are definitely a cop. So the Yeezy Slide or Zoe, I need those in my size 11. Now this next pair right here is a Yeezy 500, a model that not many people have much bad to say about this pair. This is more of like a generic standard colorway. Um, I would compare this to maybe the Blush or maybe even the Yeezy 500 Salt. I don't know if you guys remember that pair, but for me, this isn't a must have. Um, and it's not even because I own a similar colorway. I feel like this is just kind of unnecessary. So this is easily a pass, but I can see how some of y'all would be feeling it. Now, next up, we have the Yeezy Foam Runner MX Blue brown which is a working title for this pair now ever since we first saw the mx foam runners i've instantly been a fan foam runners are some of the most comfortable pieces of footwear on the market definitely a game changer for sure for sure now this colorway goes crazy i love the hint of blue which you can't see too great on here but it's the carolina panthers colorway and uh any mx foam runner for me, I wouldn't call it a grail, but definitely a cop. So it looks like we're we're cop heavy so far. Three for five. Next up, we got the MX Gray Yeezy 350. Don't have too much to comment on these as 350s. They kind of feel a little played out, right? At this point, I feel like it's just a good gym or a training sneaker. This MX pattern, which is something a little new for this model, isn't doing much for me. It's a little bland of a colorway, so I could easily pass on these. Now, next up, we got another foam runner. Now, you may confuse these for the onyx or the mineral blue, but this is actually the foam runner carbon. And because I already got the mineral blue, I easily passed up on the onyx. These are basically a black pair of foam runners. And in that case, they're probably a cop for a lot of y'all, but not for me. And then next up, we got a good one, y'all. Now this is a, one of the OG, OG Yeezys. And I'm talking about from the original Adidas releases. So we're talking about the 950 Pirate Black. I believe there's four different colorways or so. They dropped these in men's and women's. When these dropped, I want to say retail was like $585, $600 range. So these were a dream for me back when they originally released. Resale prices have skyrocketed over time. The 950 is absolutely a grill. I don't even have to think about it. This is one of my most highly, highly anticipated releases from Adidas and Yeezy of their unsold inventory. The 950s are just so good. I've never even tried on a pair before, so this would instantly be a must cop for me. Next up, Yeezy Slide. This is the slate colorway. So normally, I would say that these aren't for me just because I already own the Onyx. The slate is basically just a worn out version of the Onyx, but because the Yeezy Slide is so good and it's something that I wear on a daily basis. Uh, I would normally say not for me, but we're gonna go ahead and cop these joints right here. Next up, we have the Yeezy 350 Carbon Beluga. So the 350, although it is a little bit played out, I'm in love with the Beluga theme. I think it's rich in history. It was the original 350 V2 colorway. I like the darker variant here. So. I feel like this is just a natural colorway for this model. Uh, you know, I would normally say pass on these or not for me, but I think this is the one 350 V2 colorway that uh, JA would have to go ahead and cop. Next up, we have the 700 V2 Tefra. This is back up when the 700 V2s were going crazy. This shoe specifically dropped in 2019. I remember it like it was yesterday great colorway similar to the geode a lot of people missed out on these or passed up or slept on these back when they originally released but for me i already own a pair i know a lot of you guys are waiting on these to drop but uh this pair is just simply not for me next up 
the Yeezy 350 V2 like gray or something. This is one of the most generic 350 V2 colorways. So while I appreciate its simplicity, um, it's just so bland that uh, I'll just easily pass on these. So this next foam runner colorway is called Clay Taupe. And remember when I told you guys that there's like five or six tan foam runner colorways and I can't even say these are not for me because there's just too many similar shades of a different tan. This is repetitive. There's so many other interesting colorways that they could hit us with, which is why these will be an easy pass. Next up, we got a grail. You guys already know the Pirate Blacks are an all time grail. This is back from the OG days, just like the 950. This was a pair of Yeezys that JA never in his dreams would he have imagined being able to release and to be able to cop, sorry. And when I got the Turtle Doves last year for Yeezy Day, that nostalgia hit. This is a great way to follow it up. I feel like this was a pair that was robbed from us. So if we get these Yeezys, I know they already backdoored a ton of these joints right here, but this pair is a must definite cop for me. We got the Yeezy Slide Granite, and I would be a hypocrite to pass on these because I'm taking the Slate, I'm taking the Granite. Pretty much, I guess any Yeezy Slide that drops, I'm pretty much taking them, I guess you could say. Next up, we have the 450 Stone Teal. So the 450 is an interesting silhouette. It's one of the newer Yeezy models. I'm a big fan of this sneaker. I rock my dark slates all the time, but because this colorway is just so similar, it's just a little bit more of a green hue to it. Yeezy Foam Runner Flax. Once again, this falls in the category of a foam runner that's just so similar to pairs that we have gotten previously. Um, depending on what these joints actually look like, they're almost like a copper color. If they were just a little bit more of a brown, they would be a must cop. But I feel like because they're more in the copper realm, they look similar to the Oka pair, which I already own. So in that case, I'll pass on these. And then you have the 500 Utility Black. So many people love this pair. They're tanks. The 500 is a great design inspired by retro Adidas models. But infused with that Yeezy flair, this pair. I would say to most, some people is a grail. Um, they've dropped them a couple of times and every time it's a hit, but my pair is still holding up to this date. So because of that, these joints are not for me. So here we have it, all 18 of the confirmed Yeezys. All of these pairs right here are great. Some of them are grails, some of them are cops, some are not for me, some I'm just passing on all together. But regardless, they're all great sneakers and they're all just sitting in warehouses right now collecting dust. So we're still waiting on Adidas' decision. Rumors are that we will be getting these pairs, but Adidas has yet to confirm this. So I just wanted to have a little fun with you guys today, um, you know, rank all of these pairs bring some excitement and some hype back to this Yeezy lifestyle. So let me know what you guys think down below. If you disagree, voice your opinion below. Plus this tier maker is available on the website. So feel free to hop on there and rank and tier rank all of these pairs yourself. So salute to each and every one of y'all for tuning in. I'm JA, make sure you guys stay safe, stay blessed, and I'm out y'all, salute.